Hi, I'm Arcana with the Squarp Instruments Hair Mod. I'm going to talk about how to set up some sequences for basic composing and playback. As you can see, the Hair Mod has eight pairs of CV and gate outputs. I'd like to be able to hook these up to the rest of my rack as follows. Track one, I want to be connected to a bass sound. I want to use velocity to control amplitude on track two. Track three, I want to control a melody Track 5, I'm going to hook up to some drums. I'd like to use track 5 CV output to control fold on a Basimus Ateris altar and then the gate to trigger. Track 6, I'm going to use resonance on the drums through my filter. Track 8, I want to use to control Pam's new workout. So I want to use track 8 as a clock sync and then track 7 as the run. That's a lot to do, but one of the cool features of the hair mod is the abil ability to make this control all kinds of stuff like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up each of the voices one at a time so you can hear the results in progress. To do the setup, first I enter hair mod's track mode, and then I use the encoder to select the track that I want to configure, in this case track 1. I press X for voices, and then this enters the voice layout mode. Since I want to use tracks 1 and 2 to control the voice, the bass voice, I'm going to go select two voices, then select mono and velocity so that the velocity will configure the amplitude. Let's enter the bass now. Let's enter step mode and enter some notes. When you enter the notes, you can use the encoder to switch between pitch, velocity, and length. Hold down the particular note and you can change the values of that note. Let's extend the sequence with a few more notes. I'll make the sequence longer, and I'll use advanced step mode by holding step and pressing the encoder. The active note will highlight on the grid, and you can scroll back and forth using the encoder. You can also use the effects notes that, to modify the velocity, and you can use the track to modify the length. All right, let's see how that sounds. That sounds fine. Now that I have a bass line, let's add some drums on track 5. I've hooked up some CV to the Basimilis Iteritis Alters fold, so I'm going to make this track 5 a modulation track. I'm going to enter the triggers in hair mod, then use a MIDI controller to enter modulation. You can change between modulation and gates by holding step and turning the encoder. I'll add some beats here, then I'll record my modulation curves. Using the track editor, I'll now add resonance modulation on track 6. I'm going to set up the melody track now on track 3. That doesn't sound that exciting right now. Maybe I could use some modulation from Pam's new workout. That means I have to use clock sync and run control from her mod to Pam's. Let's do this on track 8 and track 7. First, I'll set up the hair mod to output a clock on gate 8. 
Next, I'll use track 7 to output a single beat long note. Alright, let's save our work. Let's go into the sequ sequence mode. Press down on the encoder, go to project. Save project as, and let's select a project name. Let's call it cab. Hit X to save. And there you go. You now have a track sequenced by Hermod. I hope that this video helped you understand the Hermod workflow. However, this is only one way for you to do it. Hermod is very flexible and there's many ways to do the same thing. There's also many more features of Hermod. There's still effects and there's still song mode and those both open up a huge host of possibilities. There's always something new to learn. Have fun!